Hi children, today let's do another topic. I'm sure you're going to enjoy ordinal numbers. Wherever we go, there is a queue system formed. Okay, and then you will say, oh, I'm first, he's last. Or you will say, I'm second. So we are going to look at ordinal numbers. Who comes first? How to write the spelling? How to write the short form for the ordinal numbers? Shall we look at them? I'm sure you are going to enjoy this exercise. Let's look at our first. Let's recall to our mind the ordinal numbers that we've already learned. Now look at the cue here. Alright? Just look at the cue here. You're getting into the door. And that's a first person. How do you spell first? F-I-R-S-T. First. I am first. Yes, I have to go into the door, into the room first. Very good. Look at the second one here. First person, second. Spell second. S-E-C-O-N-D. Second. So this is a second person. Good. Let's look at the third. Spell third. T H I R D. Third. Good. Let's go on. Look at the fourth person. Good. Spell fourth. F O U R T H. Fourth. And finally, we have a last person here. Fifth person. Spell fifth. F I F T H. Fifth. So. We have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. All the persons, big and small, all are standing in ordinal numbers. No problem here. Good. Did you enjoy? Let's look at another picture. Look for yourself. Good. Look at this. School bus. When you enter and when you come out, you cannot rush. You must come out one at a time so that you don't fall. Good. See who is first here. The little boy has come out first from the bus and he's very happy. Spell first. F-I-R-S-T. First. Good. The little girl says, I'm second. I came out second from the school bus. Spell second. S E C. O N D second. And the little boy says, I'm third. Spell third. T H I R D third. So these are ordinal numbers. First, second, third, and goes on. Good. Shall we look at another picture? Look what you have here. Look at this. You queue up. In the cloud, the teacher will say, Come on. Stand in a queue. And there the teacher stand. And the first little girl, she says, Look, I'm first. Spell first. F-I-R-S-T. First. And here the second little girl. Spell second. S-E-C-O-N-D. Second. And here the third little girl. Spell third. T-H-I-R-D. Third. And then here the little boy says, I am fourth, F-O-U-R-T-H, fourth. And then another little girl here, he says, I am the fifth, F-I-F-T-H, fifth. And finally, you have a last girl, sixth, S-I-X-T-H, sixth. Look at the spellings. You must learn to say and write the spelling correctly. First, second, third. Fourth, fifth, sixth, all the children are standing in ordinal number system. Look here. Okay? There's order here. Good. Let's go on. Look at this. Now let's learn ordinal numbers. Look. What is the first one here? Look at the spelling. F I R S T first. First. How do you write first? You write number one and the short form S T. 
you read this as first. Spell first, F I R S T first, and you represent first like this. You put one and S T next to it first. Look at this is second. Spell second, S E C O N D second. How do you represent second? Look, you write two and write N D next to it second. So you read this as first. Second. Good. Let's look at the third. Spell third. T H I R D third. How do you represent third? Put number three and write R D next to it. Third. Good. Now look. Look at the fourth spelling. F O U R T H. Fourth. How do you represent fourth? Put four and put T H at the side. Fourth, good. Look, spell fifth. F I F T H. Fifth, and how do you represent fifth? Put number five and put T H. Fifth, good. Five and T H. Fifth, good. Are you enjoying? Good. Look at this. Six. S I X T H. Sixth. How do you represent six? Put number six and put T H at the side. How do you read this? Sixth. Spell seventh. S E V E N T H seventh. And we represent seventh by putting number seven and T H at the side. And you read this as seventh. Good. Look. Eight. Spell eight, E I G H T H, eight. How do you represent eight? Put number eight and put T H at the side. How do you read this? Eight. Good. Look nine. Spell nine, N I N T H, N I N T H ninth, and represent ninth by putting nine and T H. Good. We read this as ninth, and finally we have tenth. T e n t h tenth. How do you write that? Put number ten and t h at the side. Now all this: first, first, second, second, third, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh. Seventh, eighth, eighth, ninth, ninth, tenth, tenth. So these are the spellings of ordinal numbers one to ten. And you represent when you don't want to write the full spelling, then we represent the spelling by writing the numbers and the short form one, and then you put S T first, two, and N D second, three. And R D third, four and T H fourth, five and T H fifth, six and T H sixth, seven and T H seventh, eight and T H eighth, nine and T H ninth, ten and T H ten. So you know how to represent the ordinal numbers. Yes, good. Did you enjoy? Shall we go on, children? Look. See what you have. We have already done ten. Now we have eleven to twenty. It's a little difficult. Look carefully, and we'll learn the spelling. Okay. Now the ordinal numbers and the spellings are here, and the, the how do you represent each of these? We will do just like we did from one to ten. Now this is eleven. So we read the eleven as eleventh. Where is the eleventh child? The teacher will ask. We stand in a line. The teacher will say, "Eleventh little girl, please come here." Spell eleventh. E L E V E N T H. Repeat after me. E L E V E N T H. Eleventh. How do you represent eleventh? Write number eleven 
and write th at the side. And we read this as 11th. This is how we represent 11th. Ordinal number 11. Good. Let's take the next. 12th. T-W-E-L-F-T-H. Look at it again. T-W-E-L-F-T-H. 12th. How do you represent 12th? You put 12th, number 12, and write TH at the side, and we read this as 12th. Good. Let's look at the next one. This is 13th. Spell TH. I R T E E N T H. 13th. And we represent 13th as put number 13 and th at the side. Read this. 13th. Good. Now, this is 14th. Look at the spelling. F O U R T E E N T H. 14th. How do you represent 14th? Write number 14 and th at the side. Read this. 14th. Good. Now we have here 15th. Spell F-I-F-T-E-E-N-T-H. 15th. How do you represent 15th? You write 15 number and write th at the side. Read this. 15th. Good. Now, look at this. 16. Spell for me. S-I-X-T-E-E-N-T-H. 16. How do you represent 16? Put number 16 and write TH at the side. Read this. 16th. Good. Next. 17th. Spell. S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N-T-H S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N-T-H 17. How do you represent 17? Put number 17 and write T-H at the side. Read this. 17. Good. Now we look at 18. Ordinal number 18. Spell 18. E I G H T E E N T H. 18. How do you represent 18? Put 18 and th at the side. Read this. 18th. Good. And then this is 19. Spell 19th. N I N E T E E N T th 19th how do you represent 19 number 19 and put th at the side read this 19 and finally we have 20th spell 20th t w e n t i e t h 20th how do you represent write 20 and then write th at the side. Now, look, let's read all the representation here. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th. So we have here ordinal numbers from 11th to 20th. Did you enjoy children? Good.